Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How To's. We're going to talk today about the IP Office applications on how to manage and support your system. Okay, not talking about Voicemail Pro, not going to talk about CCC or CCR. We're just talking about IP Office. We'll talk about those other ones later. So, to get the software that we're going to be using, and we're going to be using these manager, call status, monitor, and system status. All right, what you want to do is you want to go to support.vi.com, click on downloads, click on A to Z list, click on I. Scroll down, keep scrolling to IP Office. And when you get to IP Office, you do what I don't like doing, and that's click on Downloads again, <laughs> and select the version that you're gonna be working from. We're gonna be working from, for, from 5.0.x, because that's the one I have. All right, 6.0 and higher, you gotta do all these new types of licensing and stuff, but again, I'll leave that to a separate video, because that's gonna be a lengthy video talking about the uh, licensing. So. I'm going to click on 5.0, and I look for the latest, and the way you do this is you click on date. And as you can see, when the arrow's pointing up, it's going to show the last date. Pointing down, it's going to show the latest date. And the way you read these is you read IP Office User. See, there's a bunch of maintenance release for User, User, User. Here's CCR, which is Call Center, Voicemail Pro, and the Administration. So this is the one you want right here. Well, you want the Administration one this is the one we're working from. Okay. And when I go there, I click on Downloads. And I click on the admin. Here's the bin files. All right. How these break down is like this. There's bin files and there's the admin. Sorry. There's the admin and there's the bins. Okay. Those two folders were created from these two files here. So we wanted admin and I went through the whole process and I scrolled down and I double clicked on setup and I set up everything. Okay. And once you have everything set up, and again, that's free. Oh, crap. That's all right. I'll fix that. Um, you want to open up, we'll start with manager. Okay, I'm gonna open up manager. There's a little pop-up, user control access. Bring this down in the window right there. And here's R5 manager. And I'm going to open my configuration so we can just look at it quickly. And I won't go into too much detail yet on these um, on each application as I'll have a video for each one in detail and what they do and how they help you. Okay, so as the configuration loaded up. You can see here um, that this is the one that basically allows you to configure uh, your system, configure your IP office to use uh, for your users, hunt groups. I mean, your, basically your configuration for your telephone system. Okay, so that's manager. Uh, very, very powerful. A lot of tools and settings and things you can do in this. Very, very powerful. All right, so um, I'll set a video by itself for manager. Um, but we'll talk about the next one, which is call status. And call status simply is allows you to see active calls on your system. Okay, let me open this up just a little bit, like this. And I'm going to connect, or I'm going to. I can either click this little open button, or I can go to file open, whichever. So we're going to say open. I put my password here, and the password here is the um, password that you would use to upgrade your system okay it's not your admin password it's the one that you use to upgrade your system so if it's your default password which I don't recommend change it um, you know that's the one you're gonna use for here and if I pick up the handset I mean it's immediate like you can you can kinda hear me slamming my phone up and down <laughs> that's just showing you it's it's real time okay this is a real time call status all right, next one, monitor. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to show you monitor yet. I'm going to show you system status first. I should have had these icons switched. All right, this is a little bit different interface. This actually works with the small office edition very, very well. Um, and actually, this is where you get it, how you talk to that system. All right, so the password is now your admin. So this is the one that you would have your admin password. I know, a little confusing, but that's okay. All right, it's going to connect, waiting for connection, read initial data, boom. Here you go. This is live, real time, uh, more detailed information on your system. Let me open this up a bit. Open here, scroll there, and you can see here's my control unit. Here's the DS phones. If you click on the port, you can see the type that's connected. I have a 5410 that's connected, and you can see I have nothing plugged into number two. It's unplugged. So this is a nice way to see what's actually plugged into each of your ports. Okay, and you can see it's idled. It's idled. <laughs> it's idle. And if I go off hook, you can see it's also updating. All right. 
So busy wrap up, but you can see that everything is in here uh, replies or shows you real time status on your IP office. Okay, uh, alarms. Here's your alarms, and you can see service. You know, system wasn't able to find the feature key server. Failed to load hold music. We'll talk about hold music later. Uh, trunks. You know, the trunk's not connected, hence loss of signal. LOS and trunks out of service. You can see call quality. You can see your call quality service on your H323. H323. <laughs> I can't talk today. Um, all your uh, uh, your VoIP stuff. Okay, your extensions, your different extensions. Okay, you can see where it's plugged in, what port it's using, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can see that it's idle. My trunks, my active calls, which there aren't any, but if I was to go off hook, see, it automatically populates in real time, shows you abandoned calls. There's some resources here. Okay, so that's IP Office system status. Pretty cool. And I'll go into that in more detail when we talk about it. And last but not least, the most important one ever is <laughs> is your system monitor and this is the one where avaya tier 3 will usually ask you to capture from this is the information and when you go in here there's trace options and there are tons 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 of options you can set anything from h323 to your atm to isdn your layer one two and three the phone model camps the directory information media okay there's tons of stuff in here. If you're gonna start exploring this information, I suggest reading through the help file under this application so you can understand what all of these are reporting on and what you can do to uh, identify that. Because when you, I'm gonna show you something, okay? This is a, I don't wanna say a dead system. It's a, it's a system that has one phone on it and no trunks. And you can see there's nothing scrolling across. If this was a busy system, this thing would be flying. Okay, watch what happens when I pick up the handset. <laughs> okay, that's all I did. I didn't push any buttons. I just picked up the handset of the phone. And you can see here it went through and said, oh, it started pu uh, pushing data to this monitor saying, hey, this phone went active. Okay, so you have a ton of powerful applications um, at your fingertips when it comes to the IP office. So manager, call status, system status. You know what? I'm going to move these down. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so, and you have the, these four applications, your key applications to run your IP office uh, successfully, um, configure it, troubleshoot, monitor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this all comes with your system. And again, I downloaded this for free right off of support.avi.com. Another reason why IP office is a very powerful system to have. Okay. Yes, I'm a big proponent of it. And yes, I didn't used to be. <laughs> All right, so I will do detailed videos on each of these applications and talk about the features and functions of them uh, next. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.